Hi Rangers, my name is America Vasquez. And I'm Ethan Hickey and this is Ranger TV Thanksgiving Edition. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you All the planes we flew For announcements this week, we have tutoring on Zoom Monday through Friday at 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Here we have our field reporter, Alayla Ayala, who has asked some Redwood students what they are thankful for this year. Hi Rangers, it's Alayla Ayala with Ranger TV. For this 2020 Ranger TV Thanksgiving special, I asked some Rangers to send in videos of what they're thankful for. Let's hear from them. Hi Ranger TV! My name's Alexia and I'm thankful for friends. My name's Kimberly and I'm thankful for family. My name's Cameron and I'm thankful for my cousins. My name is Marcus Curry and I'm thankful for family, friends, and football. Hi, I'm Shelby Weishart and I am thankful for the cooler weather and iced peppermint mochas. My name is Camry and I'm thankful for my friends and family and because Christmas is less than 50 days away. Hi, my name's Melina and I'm thankful for my friends, family, and good health. My name is Haley and I'm thankful for my friends and my family. And one thing that I'm thankful for is all of my amazing sisters and my niece and nephew. My name is Aaron Babagian and I'm thankful for my friends, family, and football. My name is Kenny Schaefer and I'm thankful for football, my muscles, everybody that supports me, food, and life. I absolutely love how many thankful rangers we had sent in videos. Remember to always be thankful and not to be only thankful on Thanksgiving and to always count your blessings. I am very thankful for my family, for my friends, and for every day that is given to me. I feel like every day is a fresh new start and a new opportunity. Happy Thanksgiving, Rangers. We'll see you guys soon and stay safe. Thank you, Alayla. Next up, we have Seneca Murillo with some Thanksgiving traditions. Hi, I'm Seneca Murillo. I'm a Ranger at Redwood, and I would probably have to say that Thanksgiving is one of my top three favorite holidays. My family's tradition for Thanksgiving is usually to go to my grandma's house and just eat and hang out with everybody. I asked a few rangers what their thoughts were on Thanksgiving. Hi, my name is Santiago. I'm a senior at Redwood. And to me, what it means to give thanks is to appreciate the things that you have in life because there are some people out in the world that aren't as fortunate enough to have the things that you have. Hi, my name is Hayden Esterman. And to give thanks to me means to just be grateful and appreciative for what you have. To give thanks means to recognize all the best parts of life and be grateful for them. To me, giving thanks means to express your appreciation or gratitude for all that you have. Family's Thanksgiving tradition every year is to wake up early that day to prepare the food, which we then enjoy later on in the evening. My family's tradition on Thanksgiving is to go to my grandma's house and have Thanksgiving with the whole family, or we'll just stay home and relax and just have Thanksgiving here. Usually my family would all go to turkey trot together and then eat dinner later that day, but this year might be a little different because of COVID. My family's Thanksgiving tradition is to have a family getaway with my grandparents and cousins. The past couple of years we spent at Tenaya Lodge in Yosemite, and this year we're going to Lake Tahoe. Thank you, Angel. I hope you all have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for sharing some of those cool Thanksgiving traditions, Seneca. My family also likes to play games on Thanksgiving, one of them being left, right, center. It's a pretty fun game where you roll dice and win some money. That sounds fun, Ethan. I'm definitely going to try that with my family. Now next up, we have Emerson Presley and Mandy Redden with the story behind Thanksgiving. Hi, my name is Mandy. And I'm Emerson Presley. Today, we are going to be talking about the history of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is celebrated all around the United States and is held every fourth Thursday of November. Around 100 men, women, and children sailed across the ocean in 1620 to settle in the New World. These people were called pilgrims. They traveled in a ship called the Mayflower, and after 66 days 
of being overseas, they finally arrived in what is now Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It was a brutally cold winter and they did not have enough food. By the end of the winter, only 52 of them had survived. Once the springtime had came, the Native Americans were teaching the pilgrims how to grow food on their own. The Native Americans knew how to grow food on this land and be able to survive. When fall came around, the pilgrims gathered a big harvest. They had a large feast and invited the Native Americans to it. After Americans celebrated many Thanksgivings on their own, finally in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln declared it a national holiday. That's a pretty interesting story, don't you think, Ethan? Yeah, definitely. Rosie Ballard and I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to stay strong and healthy during the holidays. So as we know, the season is changing, holidays are coming, and it is proven there are studies that show that an average person, American, gains anywhere between 7 to 15 pounds every year all the way from Halloween into New Year's. Day. So don't let that be you guys, especially during these crazy times. Stay focused, stay consistent. So if you are not active right now, right now it's so important to get on the active wagon and do something because movement creates motion, right? And you want to make sure you keep moving guys. It's so important for your body, for your heart, for your muscles, for your joints, just move. So if you're not in any type of workout right now, it's never too late, get moving. So what I recommend my clients, my customers is one mile a day, whatever that is. If you're a runner, awesome. If you are not a runner, that's okay. You're a walker, right? So do one mile a day, guys. It doesn't take too much time. Go around outside, it's cold, but it's beautiful. Um, do one mile a day, every single day, and that's like the most important thing, movement, right? The next thing you wanna do is focus on your calories. Calories in, calories out. Why? Because this time of year is when there's um, parties, there's a lot of holiday dinners and you know gatherings. So you wanna make sure that you're conscious on what you eat, right? It's all about portion control. Start off with your protein, okay? So grab your plate and fill it up with protein. Then fill it up with a lot of veggies, fill it up. Unlimited veggies, maybe one or two cups of veggies, a salad. And then at the end, you wanna go to the carbs, okay? So that's your sweets, that's your sugar. So you wanna make sure that you are conscious about that. Have some sugar because it's okay, but again, it's all about balance. So have a little bit, have one portion, one little piece of pie, one cookie, okay? Don't overdo it and enjoy. So you wanna also make sure that you drink a lot of water, okay? So what? how much water should you drink? Um, whatever you weigh, half an ounce. So if, you're, if you weigh 200 pounds, you're gonna drink 100 ounces of water every day. That is what's recommended. So again, movement, portion control, and drink your water. Have a great day. This segment of Ranger TV is about history of Thanksgiving football. first Thanksgiving game was played in 1920 by the Chicago Tigers and the Dekatar Staley. 
the outcome of the game was final score of 27 to 0 with the outcome of the Tigers winning the game. This year there will be three games on Thanksgiving Day. The three games will be the Steelers versus the Ravens, the Texans versus the Lions, and the Washington football team versus the Cowboys. Recently, just a couple weeks ago, Sam Olsen just got his first huge touchdown at San Jose State. One reception in three games for a touchdown. One man and the fake of the handoff. He bootlegs out to the right. He throws and it's caught for a touchdown. And it's Sam Olsen, his first touchdown. Make sure on November 21st, go out and watch our former alumni, Sam Olsen and San Jose State play Fresno Bulldogs. Hey guys, my name is Trent Presley. Um, I graduated Redwood High School in 2016. My junior year, so 2015, um, for water polo, we got second place in Valley. Uh, 2016, my senior year, we got first place. Um, I also played basketball and baseball as well. Um, baseball, we won a Valley title my junior year, so my experience with sports altogether as a whole were great. Um, enjoyed the water polo staff and then just the teachers at Redwood as a whole. Everyone was just awesome, the experience was great. After Redwood High School, I went to Concordia University, Irvine and played water polo for them as well. We played in WWPA and played schools like University of Pacific, USC, Santa Clara, Fresno Pacific, and down the line there. Um, after I finished two years at Concordia, I went to Fresno Pacific. And after that, I got an internship at Rabo Bank. Um, currently, I'm a relationship banker at Bank of the West, but altogether, my experience from 2012 to 2016 at Redwood High School as a whole was great. There are also scholarship opportunities for students on the RHS website and the RHS bulletin. Make sure to go check that out. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving break and be sure to stay safe. Bye Rangers! And that's it Rangers.